Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another tips and tricks video for Final Fantasy X. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm back anyway to give you a couple of tips on how to beat Evray. A lot of first time players get stuck at this boss because they don't really understand its moveset and how to counter them, and it's also their first time dealing with a boss that has an AI that reacts like this. So hopefully, this video will help explain all of that. First things first, your stats. Frankly, they hardly matter, but it's good to have your stats pretty balanced right off the get-go. In my case, my stats are just based on a completely casual playthrough with no extra grinding whatsoever. There's always the option to grind a bit more in the airship and the developers probably did that on purpose because they knew you would most likely get stuck in this area. Second is equipment. Now weapons aren't that important. You could have weapons that give you a boost in your damage output or extra passive abilities like counterattack, which is exactly what I have on Titus right now. Elemental affinity on weapons don't really affect every in any way, so you shouldn't worry about having lightning strike or water strike on your weapon. What you should be worrying about is your armor. The stone gaze is manageable, it's best to lessen the chance of it working on you. You can do this by customizing your armor to have either stone ward or stone proof. Stone proof is preferred, but you need at least 20 petrified grenades to customize it. If you've been diligent in your stealing, you'll probably have enough for one stone proof armor at best. However, Stone Ward will work well enough, and it costs just around 30 softs to customize. You can buy softs from Rin. The party you use is dependent on your preferences. With my strategy, I pretty much use Titus, Waka, and Orin for maximum physical damage output, and have Riku coming in and out of the front lines as a support character. Lulu can replace Orin for some hard-hitting magic, and if your Kamari has the use ability, he can bail you out in case Riku goes down somehow. But the important characters you must have in the rotation are Titus and Waka. Side note, overdrives make the fight so much easier, but use them only after casting haste on the overdrive user. Otherwise, you'll have a really bad time dealing with a delay. Trust me. Alright, on to the battle strategy. If you want to follow mine to the T, open with Riku, Titus, and Orin. More often than not, Riku and Titus are going to get the first two turns. Orin's a slowpoke, so he's gonna go after Evray. Use Riku's trigger command to pull away from Evray and let Titus cast haste on Orin. If Orin gets a turn before Sid can pull back the airship, let him use power break. This will make Evray's attacks hurt a little less. After Sid pulls back, proceed to cast haste on Riku, heal up whoever got hit by Evray's attacks, and then start casting haste on the rest of the party you want to use. Make sure you heal accordingly whenever he uses photon spray or any kind of range attack. If you have physical hitters on the front lines, let Titus cast Cheer 5 times. If you're using Lulu, let her use Focus to boost her magic. Once you're ready prepping, ask Sid to pull you back in and you can begin kicking Evray's ass. In close range, Evray has 3 attacks that he cycles through. A normal attack, Poison Breath, and Stone Gaze. The normal attack hits somewhat hard, but if you have him power broken and you're buffed up with 5 times Cheer, he won't be doing that much damage. Poison Breath hits everyone, so make sure your party is always healed right after he inhales. For a quick counter, bring in Riku to use an Albed Potion since they heal 1000 hit points, cure silence, petrification, and poison. Literally, 4 birds with 1 stone. At this point, Poison Proof becomes useless since you still take damage from the attack, even without poison taking effect. And you'll still have to heal the entire party with the Albed Potion anyway. Lastly is Stone Gaze. Now this attack will petrify one character at a time, and if the petrification fails, it could cause slow. Since you have Stone Ward equipped, Stone Gaze will most likely fail now, so you just have to counter the slow with haste. In the case that Stone Gaze does work and petrifies one of your party members, just use a soft or now bed potion to remove the status before Every can ever get the chance to shatter them. Every will cast haste randomly on itself or as a counter for casting slow or delaying its attack. This can't be countered unless you have Dispel or Purifying Salts. If you haven't been doing any grinding, I doubt you'll have either of these. But since your entire party is hasted, this basically cancels out the speed buff that you had in the beginning of the battle. If you're in a bind and you need a quick way to avoid Evray's physical attacks, you can have Waka use Dark Buster before Evray gets a turn so attacks don't connect. Note, this does not affect Poison Breath. So if you heal up accordingly and make sure nobody gets shattered, Evray can go down in less than 15 minutes. And that's about it. If you still can't beat him, I don't know, maybe you just suck. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this helped you out, please leave a like or comment. I have a bunch of ideas for different tips and tricks that may be helpful for Final Fantasy X beginners, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay up to date when these drop. That's it for me, guys. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.